to take that chance. And the basket by out of the Kumpo. Yeah, that basketball IQ you see from Holiday, understated but consistent, so valuable, especially in these pick and roll sets where he just cuts up defenses. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. Sixers will have a different look here. Harrell's checked in for Embiid. Niang comes in for Tobias Harris. Melton, he's checked in for Maxi. And Milton subbed in for Harden. moments on defense like that block an emphatic rejection that was boy you got to appreciate that kind of forceful in your face defense can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. A minute 42 left in the first quarter here. Melton on the left side. Down low. Here's Harold. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Montrez Harrell can be so many things for this team. One of the best small ball fives in the NBA. And a little more about Montrez Harrell. What an addition he is to any roster club. I agree so with the NBA, whether he's starting or coming off the bench. Harrell brings great energy and production. A real injection as a spark plug. He's off on the first. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Now whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Uh oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. The Sixers leading. A minute six left in the first. Outside Tucker. That's the Herald. Shoots over Ibaka. And another miss 
by Philadelphia. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Milton against Hill. Outside, Ingles. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side. Not hesitating at all in doing it. Now here's Milton. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Smooth finish off a terrific field. Separating the shot and game clocks. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong kick he lays there. Melton against Allen. And here's Melton. Carroll, the screen on Allen. It's all tied in Philadelphia. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. And Milwaukee shooting around 41%. Bible outside of three with Tucker at power forward. DeAnthony Melton out there with Furkan Korkmaz. And it's Harold in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. <laughs> we always talk about great football first players. But how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score. Whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. misses. He's off on the second. You know, and where the Bucks seem to dominate every year is on the glass, particularly at the defensive end. Number one in the league the last four seasons. Now here's Melton. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Here's Hill. Outside, Ingles. Up top, Curtis. Harold defending. Shot clock at six. The crossover, and he sinks the layup. Portis has got his first two points of the night. A grant, I guess, for the Bucks. Hey, you can't teach size. And they're good fundamentally as well, B.A. I mean, they block out, they fight to maintain position. If you're going to beat them, it probably won't be with second chance points. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Hill, the pass to Ingles. I see him. Collinson outside. Cordes for three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Come into this, having not to win against Austin in their last game. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was everything out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. And they proved it that game. A moment to hear from Allen the Force. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about feeling because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it open knowledge. Oh, 
key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Alan. Now here's Melton. Back to Tucker. Here's Korkmaz. And Harrell throws it down. Harrell simply is a ferocious rebound. A great tenacity in fighting hard for the ball and then finishing the play for his team. Hill the pass to Ingles. And the Bucs miss again. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Pass to Melton. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Inside. Here's Harold. And he converts the layup. And it's a four-point Philadelphia lead. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunity. There's a whistle. That goes on the Anthony Melton. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the 76ers. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Harrell. Tobias Harris comes in for Tucker. And it's Harden in for Melton. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Anadokounmpo comes in for Ibaka. Middleton is checked in for Ingles. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Hill. Lopez, the screen on Harden. Holiday against Harden. And the basket by Holiday. Holiday's got his first bucket in this one. You know, Holiday is one of those rare guards who's as physical as any other player on the floor. Holiday busting it up inside. Now here's Thibel. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Here's Embiid. And again, it's Philadelphia. You think that Embiid would always go inside, but with his stroke, the mid-range is a good option too. Pass to Middleton. Got a piece of it. Pass break, Philadelphia. Here's Thibault. The rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Lopez. The shot's good. Middleton, a score by nature. That time showing we can find his teammates, too. The 76ers have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Philadelphia calls timeout. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Sixers making a change here. Maxi's checked in. All right, let's look back on last season for a moment. Here were your scoring leaders. Joel Embiid on top. Second was Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two premier scoring options that defenses really have to scramble to account for. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Embiid is screen on Holiday. Back to Korkmaz. Pass to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Lopez. Embiid, good. 
Embiid's got four points in the quarter. Let's make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Maxi passes to Harris. He's got six points. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982. Oh, B.A., talk about the historic company. But how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. Outside Maxson, from deep. Sends it home from three-point land. He's got nine. Vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. On the Kumpo, pass to Holiday. And he can't answer that. The three pointer offline. Here's Korkman. Middleton covering. Pass to Maxi. Top Harden lets it fly. And here's another one for the Sixers. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Now here's Holiday. Back to Anacumbo. Outside Holiday. And here's Lopez from the arc. The rebound by Maxi. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Here's Korkmaz. In tight, he gets the jumper to fall. And the 76ers lead by 9. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a high school. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, it's been clearly the better team. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. in for Philadelphia. And Milwaukee with a change here too. Allen, he's checked in for Connaughton. Philadelphia on deep. They lead by the biggest margin of the game. Nine. Pass to Middleton. Looking to end the run. Rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's the A. Harris with it. Here's Embiid. He picked up 39 in their last win against Boston. And he really dominated. Working hard to control the glass. 
knows this Bucks team. They seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. And well, that and Giannis. It's always good to see Giannis get his teammates involved because he knows he can't do it alone. Pass to Harris. Embiid inside. Covered by Lopez. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Harris. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Now on the Kupo. Now here's Middleton. And too long on the shot. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Maxi. Oh, a special move before that shot. Maxi's got 11. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off in the city. <laughs> a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with Alan Grant. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. Now here's Harris. Coming in on 12 points in his last outing. Rejected by Lopez. Big group Lopez. Gobbling up space and getting the block on that one. Holiday against Harden. Back to out of the Kupo. Over Harris. Again, the blocks. Good for two. Giannis has taken it up a notch here. He's always one of the more consistent players in the league, night in and night out. He's getting it done. Now he's Harden. Give him eight points now. Screen by Embiid. Goes up on the wing. Giannis out of the Kupo. Grabs the board. Out of the Kupo's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. That one goes. And now it's just a 4-point 76ers lead. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try to keep him alive. Pass to the end. A minute 58 left in the first half. Outside back seat. Clock at six. Indeed, a screen on Allen. For three, Maxi. Giannis with the rebound. Milwaukee has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Allen on the wing. Maxi covering. Allen past to Lopez. And he gets that one. Lopez has got his second basket of the night. Able to just go right over the top. I mean, the big man, Lopez, is going work. Harden against Holiday. Pass to Nia. Shot to win the cold streak. No good. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. And here is Hamada Kupo. One oh three left to play in the second quarter. Allen with it. Middleton outside. Here's the three. And it's Niang with the rebound. Oh man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute to him because his shot making is not happening right now. Harris finds Harden. Back to Harris. Outside Harden. For three, Maxi. Rebounded by the Bucks. Six seconds separating the shot and game clock. That puts him in the lead. Anacupo's got 13 points now in the quarter. A steady start has turned into a spectacular second quarter for him. Maxi passes to Harvey. From 7 feet away. No good with a layup. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucs. Piling up the numbers that quarter. Already, he's got a double-double. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? 
Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. We will see everyone right back after this break. Greetings, everybody. We love exciting, and this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. Two guys clearly battling for the spot, both putting on a show. You just hope it doesn't become an all-hero ball. Yeah, it's the scoreboard that decides the real winner in the end. That's pretty profound on my part, don't you think? Yes, it does. And a look back now at the first half, as the Sixers have a tight game on their hands. The stat that jumps out to me is their lousy three-point shooting. The Pelini is looking like a lost cause for them. Might want to switch it up. Right, because even if they start hitting those shots, threes alone aren't going to solve their problem. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. So far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. He's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. Taking a look at the Bucks. Inside at the four and five, it's Giannis and Portis. Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. And it's Holiday in a point guard. High ball, that's good. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Milwaukee in the lead. Well, he was born in Arizona when it's time for national team play. Matisse Tybal suits up for Australia down under. A team he meddled with in 2020. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Martin, pass to Tybal. Over to the wing. Embiid inside. Portis on him. Embiid can't hit. It's fun to see NBA players like Tybal go their own way for national competition. Yeah, it is, D.A. I mean, that's part of the interesting fabric of the global nature of the game, particularly as it relates to the NBA. International tournament is kind of like an alternate world, if you will. Guys who are NBA rivals end up being teammates, or their teammates wind up on the other bench. It's actually pretty cool to see. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And get the first one. Something Bobby Portis has truly captured is the love of the fans, Clark. Yeah, his energy and enthusiasm is palpable and contagious, but he also puts in the work, and fans recognize that hard work. 
then he's been on the second. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Harden, right, pass to Embiid. Fader on the way. That one's wide left. Yes, yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. Middleton against Thibault. And that one's good. Middleton. Middleton's got his second basket of the game. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Now here's Embiid. He's got 11. Solid as the rock from 20 feet out. Embiid's got 13 now. You know, with all he does offensively, his size, Joel Embiid, like a cheat code, a special talent. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allen LaForce. Thanks, Brian. James Harden with plenty of confidence. He said not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm not selfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit the team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. Yeah. Very self-assured, Allen. Thank you. And out of bounds, Milwaukee will have it. Tucker's checked in for MB. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Connaughton passes to Portis. Now here's Connaughton. No luck on that one. Philadelphia, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Harden, pass to Maxi. Back to Harden. Tucker with a screen. Ooh, giving this fifth, making the game in ten attempts. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Holiday finds Portis. Now here's Holiday, defended by Harden. Kumpo, a screen on Harden. Holiday passes to Ana Kumpo. Harden with the block. Look at Harden getting after it defensively with little airs and really touching like that. Getting get him all kinds of fire. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle on his own. It's his first foul of the game. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Melton comes in for Harden. Ibaka, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Ingles comes in for Chris Middleton. Serge Ibaka. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. The free throw drops for Melton. And the 76ers making a change here. Milton has checked in. Hill, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And it's tied up with that one. And Clark looking at last year's Sixers team. They were last in the NBA in offensive rebound. And also last in field goal attempts. And those go hand in hand if you're not taking a lot of shots and you're not going to have a chance for a lot of offensive rebounds. That puts tremendous pressure on your offense when you're not getting second shots. I expect them to really emphasize crashing the offensive boards this season. Lock and four. Connaughton. Misses from short range. The 76ers have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. And Harrell with the strong finish. The alley oop throwdown by Harrell right there. And dramatic. And he fires up his teammates as well. Will the pass to Ingles to win the run. And Tucker pulls it down. The 76ers have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Left side, Milton. He takes it in. And he drops 
in the layup off the glass. And now a 4 point 76 is lead. Not Look. much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Timeout call, Milwaukee. Bucks trail. Pass to Portis. Here's Ibaka. Now here's Ingles. Trying to get back on track. That shot, no good. Now Tyler. Ingles defending. And stolen by Connaughton. Tyler against Ingles. Shoots over Tyler. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. That's the Harold. Portis. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got five rebounds tonight. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Hill the pass to Ibaka. Knocks down the long chain. Ibaka's got his second bucket of the night. As a big, unless you're a dedicated rim runner, you have to be some kind of threat from distance. Pass to Melton. Bible with it. Shoots over Ingles. Drains it from 9 feet away. Bible's got his second bucket of the game. Milwaukee's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Outside, Ingles. This for the tie! Drops in the three. It's a tie ball game. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Pass to Harold. Back to Milton. Six to shoot. Takes him. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. For Milwaukee, they've gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Connaughton against Milton. Connaughton passes to Ibaka. Now here's Ingles. Pass to Portis. Over Milton. Portis' shot is off. Philadelphia, they've got six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Milton passes to Melton. Number three is up. Milton, no good. Milwaukee has got two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Melton against Connaughton. Outside, Ingles. Pass to Ibaka. And here's Connaughton for three. And Milton pulls it down. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Now Harold. Back to Milton. Overhill. Milton, no 
no good. Well, the Bucks shooting just 36% on the third. Ingles passes to Connaughton, shoots over Melton, and it's Connaughton. That time on the assist by Ingles. And the Bucks lead by two. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Now here is Harold. Give him eight points now. Hill against Melton. Just like to shoot. To win the drought. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got six rebounds now in the game. Hill against Melton. Here's Ingles. Here's Portis. And there's two. Work on the glass. Staying off that time. Portis has got five now. An absolute bully in the lane. Nothing the smaller defender could do well. Pass to Hill. Back to Melton. Portis with the steal. Hill against Tucker. Hill the pass to Portis. Outside, Hill. Here's Portis. Connaughton outside. Here's Ibaka, covered by Milton. Ibaka, good. And now it's a six-point Bucks lead. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Milton. Block! And they get it back. Six on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Ibaka. Ibaka's got four rebounds now. Outside, Hill. Pass to Ingles. From the arc. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ingles. And the 76ers going with a whole new group out there. <laughs> Here's Harden. Ten points for him. Philadelphia calls time here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Third quarter. Will it go? Harden misses. 
Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. You know, in Ibaka's case, his explosiveness turned into reliability. Entering the league, he was really a raw athlete. Now he's a polished, consistent, and willing mentor for the younger guys. That's valuable on a championship caliber team. Shot clock at two. Ibaka's shot is off. The Sixers trailing. Now Harris, short three, the rebound by the Bucks. Ingles has got his fourth rebound in this one, and Ibaka helps set the table for a trend. Bigs who can protect the rim and stretch the floor. And you know, B.A., those types of guys are getting drafted higher than ever. They bring great value to the versatility that they offer in both teams on the floor. They're getting big money in free agency, too. It's a good time to be a stretch big. I wish I could go back to the future. We need to cash in on some of that too. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bucks? Well, they found success off the drive, Take a break. creating Take a break. lot of buckets by getting Take into shot. the teeth of the defense. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. And free throw drops for Ingles. Middleton has checked in for the Bucks. On both. 52 seconds left in the third. Now Harden. He's got 10. Harris outside. Oh, they need this. Outside for Harden. Shot clock at six. Takes a three. Here's Embiid. They shoot again. And he takes it up and lays it in. Embiid's got 15 points. Hey, good luck trying to move Embiid off the block. Jarrell has position. There's not much anybody can do to stop him. Middleton with it. Outside Holiday. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Holiday's got his second basket. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. A talent from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard. Showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. Yeah, and as a two guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. And it be the playing up front. Maxi out there with James Harden. And it's Korkmaz in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Now here's Maxi. A step back shot. Rejected by Allen. It's Middleton on the wing. Maxi covering. Middleton, no good. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger? You may be a little over eager. Left side, Harden. Here's Corkbox. Middleton covering. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw.
Rocky in the lead. Allen on the wing. Maxi covering. Here's on to Kumpo. On top the back of the rim. No good. Now Philadelphia with it. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. It'll be the second of three straight games on their home floor. Maxi passes to Harden. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Throughout years of play, one thing that has stayed consistent in the game of James Hart is his remarkable ability to facilitate. First free throw is good. You gotta admit that Harden just has a gift for finding assists, though. Yeah, he really does, BA, and it's so amazing to watch. I mean, he's a guy that specializes in torching people one-on-one. -on -one. But he's also almost as good setting other people up. Maybe it all comes back to how good he is at reading defenders. And I think there's something to be said to that. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide open man and found it perfect. Up top, Harden. Shot clock at five. The shot misses. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Middleton outside. Out to the wing. And here's Lopez from the arc. And it's Harris with the rebound. The 76ers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Tucker. Embiid against Holiday. Embiid passes to Tucker. Outside Maxi. The three ball. Milwaukee with the rebound. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Arvikumpo, pass to Lopez. Holiday against Harden. Pass to Ronald Kumpo. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now it's an eight-point Bucks lead. You know, I think you gotta push Giannis further away if you're the defender there. I mean, he's just too big of a threat inside. Indeed finds Harris. And here's Indeed. Hits the jump hook. You see why they go to Embiid in close. I mean, he's more than capable of getting it in the hoop. Pass to Lopez. Outside Holiday. The three. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got four rebounds now. Middleton against Harris. Maxi passes to Embiid. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair in the line. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Free throw drops for Embiid. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. 
Thibel, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. The Bucks also with a sub. Connaughton, he's checked in for Allen. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Out of the Kupo against Tucker. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Perhaps the best trait of Giannis is loyalty. Clark. Love that about him, B.A. We've seen others test those free agent waters. No begrudgment there, but not Giannis. Stayed in Milwaukee, a small market team, signing an extension in 2020, and then led the Bucks to that 2021 title. The Greek freak didn't need to get to a super team to get a ring. He birthed and led a super team right where he was. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Now here's Harden. Tucker finds Maxi. The fadeaway and the basket by Embiid. Embiid's got 10 points here in the second half. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Holiday against Harden. Out of the outside. And it's Milwaukee scoring again. Grant, both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. They get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post. Whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in the history. And it's the Sixers for the ball. Following the score by Milwaukee. And so he draws the two headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Drew Holiday. An effective playmaker and a more efficient score. Harden continues to be a highly productive player. And he drops it first. The Bucks making a switch here. Portis has checked in. Harden hits them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Portis. Harden against Holiday. Pass to Under the Kumpo. Shoots a fadeaway. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. For Philadelphia, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Harden with it. Wilson covering. Embiid with it. They put it. The Sixers again can't hit. Middleton passes to Alan Kumpo. And he lays it up again. And now it's an eight-point Bucks lead. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his team is trusting down the stretch, guy. Pass to Harden. Right leg. There's Tucker. Knocks it down from distance. Tucker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Hey, one of the strongest part of Tucker's game is knocking down that three-point shot. He doesn't need much space to get it off. Middleton, no good. I'll tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Bible passes to Maxi. Pass to Harden. Six on the shot clock. There's the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. 
Collinson's got four rebounds now. Outside Holiday. Portis with it. Maxi covering. Fades away. Portis shot is off. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Indeed. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got four assists in the game. You know, there's only so much you can do against him these guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Milwaukee calls timeout. Line and hear from Ali. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He told them to be more careful about their selections, saying, quote, don't force it at the arc. If it's not a good look, don't risk it. Move the ball, attack inside. Use your options. Great work, Ali. Thanks. Milwaukee now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. On to Kupo, inside. Just by Tucker. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Anthony to Kupo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. He did the important part at the line there, the heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. And stolen by Connaughton. Pass to Holiday. The 11 footer. And out of the Kumpo with the basket. On the assist from Holiday. Out of the Kumpo has got 40 points. And Philadelphia calls time here.
Kumpo has got his third assist of the night. Harden, the pass to Thibault. Embiid against Portis. 19-footer. Embiid can't hit. For Milwaukee, they've got 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Outside Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Knock loose. Time over the steal. Now here's Tucker. Outside Harden. MB drawing the double team. Tucker pass to Thibel. Clock at six. For three, Maxi. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got eight rebounds in the game. Pass to Middleton. Here's Connaughton. Anacupo, left side. And they double up Anacupo. Portis, pass to Connaughton. And banks in the land. And now it's a 10-point Bucks lead. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Now here's Embiid. Shoots from the quarter. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Harden. Harden's got assist number five here tonight. against Connaughton. Here's Embiid. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Embiid's got 27 points. Jackson against Connaughton. Middleton inside. Kupo up top. Kupo is coming. Holiday finds Jordan. And the shot counts. He's still on it's a chance for a three-point play. Tobias Harris checked in four for the We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Harden against Holiday. Now here's Harden. Tightly guarded. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Harden's got six here in the quarter. Cassini in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Holiday. Can't get it to drop. Good D by Harris. Philadelphia has gone one for five shooting from the arc here on the floor. But it's actually missing. Milwaukee shooting just a phenomenal clip. 59% here in the fourth. Colleton outside. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. 44 seconds left in the game. It's Holiday. Harris. Long. So it's Milwaukee now. Seven point differential. The drive by Honor 
Kumpo. Count that one. Out of Kumpo has got 42 in the game. There are very few guys that move with the grace that Ante Kumpo does on his drop. He's got an easy, long, ground eating gait. It's very effective. And so it's Milwaukee with the W. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out, we did not mess around with the game. We came, we did our job, we defended, we moved the ball. That's what we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.